I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. You can tell that to the next one we cross paths with, then. Provided it doesn't tear your throat out first. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out, or worse. She is first druid in Halcyn's absence. With him caught or dared by goblins, none may gainsay. But more will die if her ritual is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. Would you? I would give anything to see Halcyn return home. Sylvanas's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halcyn is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. All be over. The I'm rituals over. almost finished. What if they tried to steal from us? Don't the game. Know. We've shown them once. Darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Local history, written in riddles. Towers seized, the battle done. The moonrise broke the darkest one. You recognize the mark of the dark goddess Shar on the broken helmet. This army marched in her name. Moonrise must be a reference to Shar's divine sister, Saluna. a number on you, didn't they? I see you. Just give me a moment. God, our field mouse. No one's more important than the patient in front of you. This may be There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? You found her. But I still don't know what she can do for you. Why are you asking? Did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth and tentacles? That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. No. That was Master Halson. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. 
You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Protected from on high. Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. Of course I am. Lives are on the line. And not just yours. So tell me, where'd you get that thing? A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Swear it. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. You can't cure what you don't understand. And as much as I know about mind flayers, I can't make heads nor tails of this. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? The way I see it, you have two options. Halson, or that wyvern poison. I don't envy your choice, truly. But this is the hand fate's dealt you. I can't make any promises. This is like nothing we've seen before. But I know this for sure. Master Halson is the only one close to understanding these things. He's your best bet to survive. Otherwise, that vile's your only option. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. 
But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Why Vern poison? Never tried it, and I hope to keep it. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. regards you lifelessly. remains silent. It doesn't understand the question. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Over there. Hmm. What if Halson is no? Don't go there. Ridiculous. We just let her run off. She's a child. A devil child. One who tried to steal from us. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child... Mm. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits. And... Another stranger come to vex me. What will you do? Hunt me? Grab my tail? Shout until my head hurts? No, wait. You smell fresh. Safe. You can stay, if you must. This will all be over. The ritual's almost finished. What if they tried to steal from us? The game! We've shown them once. We take Grove Law seriously. By letting that child escape without consequence. We might as well have lain on the ground and let them trample us. Mm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Abspere tu umok akule uz vitisque. Squirrel lunges at your foot and bites it. You're trespassing. This is my territory. Don't scare me. I've got bears on my side. Now get moving. I'm tired of looking at you. way. You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone... poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. Too bad. I earned it, fair and square. Why, thank you, Dread Slayer of Bugbears. You shall live forever in my memory. Now take my regards back to that pouting Irenes and leave me alone. Considering you turned that bugbear into paste. That's a fair trade. Here. Take this soul back to the damned place it came from. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency.
Barcelona. Our Lady of Silver. Please. Not now. Please. Have some respect. This really isn't the time to talk. Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. You think? That's something, at least. We're not trained fighters, though. I'm guessing you have plenty of both. Be nice if I could say the same for myself. It'd be even nicer if we were on the road to Baldur's Gate already. If the road was clear, a ten days' walk, maybe? But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. Barcelona. Our Lady of Silver. Please. May he rest by your side. He... He never hurt anyone. He always knew what to say. When I was homesick. He never let it show, but... He was homesick too. woman with shadows for eyes, you said. Merely that if the eyes are the mirror to the... Dark curtains across the mirror. No offense taken, I hope. Not necessarily. I haven't made up my mind about you yet.
My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm... The words to a lullaby, perhaps? The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met. I am Raphael, very much at your service. Why, I never... You're paranoid, aren't you? Must be the surroundings, rather bleak and lonesome. One feels so exposed. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. And deny you the honor of my hospitality? This is the House of Hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Fair enough. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Come now, why play hard to get? when you're in deep over your tadpoled head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. Ah, yes, the tongue. Yet another piece of pleasurable anatomy you'll soon have to do without. All those pretty little symptoms. Sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet. Have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Is the sigil in that cave. The harpers were busy. That might be worth a look. 
the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. Is gold so precious to spiders? The spiders scatter and you stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. I'd say. Glowing eyes are rarely a good sign. Best be careful. Well, at least we got the druid to keep ourselves entertained. Well, this was more fun when he was screaming.
press ahead. Cautious. Moving in. <clears throat> his breaths are shallow, his wounds deep. A long way to go still. I'd better do the talking. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought I was gonna die down here. No. I'd still be outside gathering herbs if I didn't run into the goblins. I must tell the others what happened. I step careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Can't slow down.
people up ahead. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. An oil bear. Please, do you have any... Shut up, Andrik. Do you serve the Absolute? Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Useless. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... you're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? Are you... are you testing us? A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice. Your words are her command. She grants you the power to enforce her will. And when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Please. Any supposed new god would have an uphill battle. We know that all too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. What? And... and just... leave Ed? I suppose... I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the Absolute guide us. They spoke of the Absolute. Same as that goblin, Saza. Curious. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value, something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again.
owlbear tracks. Its nest must be nearby. That stench. Dead owlbear prey, no doubt. An unusual place to find a shrine of Saluna. But there it is. There's magic at play here. A spell keeping this chest shut. This thing won't yield its contents easily. Just an old prayer. An ancient prayer. But why hidden back here? And what's this symbol? There we go. Never knew prayer could be so practical. You should leave it, or even destroy it if possible. This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows, could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. should have stayed quiet. You want the truth? Fine. I worship Shah, mistress of the night, Saluna's twin and foe. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it.
true. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. Talk to me later. We've got more pressing matters to see to right now. Coming of age rites for children born into worship of Saluna. A touch drastic, no? seem to know a good deal about our condition, Gail. Everything, really. Do you find a point on it? A humble specimen, aren't you? On occasion. The grove sported some rather interesting murals, I must say. They just reminded me of something half-forgotten. It seemed to depict Lady Shah's warriors in combat. I hadn't known they were active in these parts. Not formidable enough to win the battle, it seems. But still, worthy of my respect. They looked like Dark Justicias, an elite force among Lady Shah's ranks. Only the very finest proved themselves worthy of the title. right-minded servant of Lady Shah wouldn't. But it's a distant dream. The Dark Justicias have been silent for years. Curious to see them depicted in such a place. Perhaps there's more to it. But there's nothing to be done about it just now. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. I told you to go!
you see a name etched into the leather. Scratch. You know my name? Interesting. A predator wouldn't care to learn it. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. We were attacked. We're cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell. It was strange, rotten, evil. You know the creatures he describes. Knolls. No. I won't leave him. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. your compliments earlier. We'd only just met. Seize the day, I say. More now than ever. Careful you don't pull a muscle in your haste. Gods are watching me. A key. Wonder what it opens. as the devil will has been tasked to kill. Oh, fuck me! It's you, from the ship. Haven't taken any bounties from a burnt tear dink, have you? Good. Great. Glad I don't have to kill you. A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The Blood War. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. Not by choice. I'm a good skull crusher, but I never wanted to serve Zariel. From that peak I got into your head, I'm not the only one with problems on top of problems. A mind flayer tadpole, huh? And no joy getting it sorted as of yet, I see. I'm Karlak, and you are. I'd lost the Blade of Frontiers on the Mind Flayer ship. 
Well, if it isn't obvious by now, he's wrong about me. I'll prove it to him if he stops swinging that sword around long enough to listen to sense. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to properly escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Wanna help me take them down? Dirty work's the only kind I like. But there are a lot of them, and just the one of me. I'll take point, and you flank them. After we've mopped them up, we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? I like her. She looks like she could throw me over her shoulder and carry me to safety. Should the need arise. Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the toll house, just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Hang on, though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? Something tore right through these people. Looks empty. They didn't stand a chance. The beast reeks of brimstone and offal. Every breath is thick with blood. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. Whatever horrific creature was growing inside the hyena dies along with her. Eat 
of competition for the most vile parasite, clearly. A wizard's quite worthless with tired mind. Sleep beckons. I would follow. Best be on my way. Day another fight. <laughs> Have to keep going. Another fight. Let's go. <laughs> 